What's up everybody, 915 Man here doing a leak test on the tank. When I was doing the leak test, the wife told me, you know, how old is this tank? And uh, she pretty much told me, why don't you just go get a new tank? That way the tank is brand new, I can sleep better at night, and uh, I know that it's been taken care of. Um, also, uh, I was looking at a bunch of different tanks, but I really had my mind set on a six footer. I went to my local fish store. I texted uh, Jimmy and I asked him, hey, do you have a, uh, any six footer tanks? He gave me a good price on the tank and uh, went ahead and paid it off today. He screenshot me the price of the tank and he only charged me like a couple of bucks more than what it actually cost, which is really awesome. Really helped me out. I told him it was kind of an emergency because of the uh, 120 seams. And I ended up selling the other 180 which was a marine land. Uh, I sold it for 300 bucks, and then I used that money with some money that I had, and I bought this um, new 180, which is Aquion. The pretty cool thing about it, it only took a couple of days to get here. Um, the big difference is where the overflows are. Uh, with the Aquion, the overflows are kind of off to the side and not directly at the corner, which I liked, but I like it more now because um, I have more of a side view. This tank also came with the overflows and the bulkheads, the return line and lock line. So pretty cool. Um, it was interesting because the both of the tanks, both Aquion and Marineland, all the holes were one inch. Another pretty cool thing is uh, Jimmy helped me load it up. It was Jimmy. Uh, I met a subscriber there who I had sold an enemy to. Thanks a lot for your help. And of course, my brother-in-law. We loaded it all up in my uh, truck, my brother-in-law's truck and uh, brought this baby home. The cool thing is the Marine Land and the Aquion tank was the exact same dimensions, exact same measurement, it fit nicely on there. And as you can see, I used a metallic marker. Um, if you don't know, metallic markers are great because they write on wood and metal and they really stand out. So I had to draw uh, new holes into the tank stand and I just used the same exact uh, stand for the tank. It fit nicely. After I circled where the overflows were going to go, we put the tank on some 2x4s and uh, my son, my littlest one, immediately noticed that it had a crack. Um, I looked a lot closer and as you can see on the far right corner, there's a bead of silicone. I picked up two cans of spray paint and I actually just needed one can of spray paint. I used some painter's tape, left the overflow section open and just went ahead and uh, sprayed it. I used short bursts, but I still got some running, um, and it looked a lot better after it uh, dried. It only took a couple of minutes to dry, and I just left it open like that. Um, it came out really, really good, guys. I ended up going to the hardware store, and while I was there, I picked up some super glue. I'm um, going to give these a try. My favorite glue is the BSI glue, but picked up a few packs of this stuff. The uh, reason why we came to the hardware store is because the wife plans on uh, painting the kitchen and the whole house. And with the tank being out of the way, it's going to go ahead and uh, paint behind the tank. So while she was with my daughter picking out paint for the house, I was out there with my son looking at reef stuff. Um, I bought this big old foam, but at the end we didn't even use it because uh, it was getting in the way with the bulkheads. And uh, the tank being having its own brace, I'll be okay. Um, I wanted to use the foam because just for extra security, but... Hey, I couldn't use it to tighten up the bulkheads, and it was a, it was just in the way. So my buddy, he let me borrow his hundred and something gallon uh, container, which helped out a lot. You know, the reason it helped out a lot because it held all my fish, all my rock, all my corals, and I didn't have to have all these different pumps around the house. I just had like two pumps. I had a RW, and then I had a regular return pump in here for flow and heater. Um, I drained out my sump and then I started doing everything else. This was the fun part because uh, it's kind of overwhelming moving a tank. And uh, I just approached it systematically and we got it done. This brute container is my trash can with uh, these little wheels on there. Helped out a lot because I was dumping the tank water into this container. Then, you know, using the return pump to fill up that pond. And then going back and forth. And it was just a whole lot easier with these wheels. Now the wheels are expensive, they're like 40 something dollars, but they've already paid themselves off 
with uh, mixing water going back and forth it just made things a lot easier guys so they are expensive but if you need something that'll probably last go for it also use these clamps to um, so I wouldn't make a big mess and I actually did pretty good guys when I did this I took out all the big pieces of live rock started draining the water and then after I did that I started getting my uh, fish um, it was a lot easier just doing it like that um, because the fish really didn't have a, a lot of room to hide. Um, one fish that I forgot about was my wrasse. Uh, as the water started draining, the wrasse disappeared into the sand and then he popped up later on and, and I was able to get him out. Um, I actually had to start scooping the sand because I couldn't find him. But uh, all the fish are out of the tank into the little pond and everything went pretty well, guys. And as you can see, my uh, wall is painted. The wife hit it up that same day that I drained the tank and moved all the corals. I had my uh, brother-in-law, Nick, and uh, my buddy D come over and help me out. We moved this tank, got it done in place. And then all the fun parts started again. The uh, lights, um, moving the coral fish, adding sand, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. This is it. And uh, hope you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe. You guys take care.